Welcome to another video. We're currently chopping first cut. We're working on the headland right now. This is our last 20 acres. So the stretch is here. It's currently 2 p.m. I just finished calculating. Hopefully I remember the numbers off the top of my head now. They're in my phone, but if I exit the camera app to open the notes, it stops recording, so that's not going to work. So, anyhow, we have 48 rows remaining minus the headland, so minus what I'm chopping now, and the short rows. We can fit two and a half rows, two and a half to three rows per wagon. So with that, that leaves us between 16 and 19 wagon loads left. And a wagon load takes us just under half an hour. So it's around 2 p.m. now. And if we have 16 loads left, that's 8 hours. And if we have 19, that's, well, 8 and a half. But let's just call it 18 for easy figuring. So we're going to finish between... 10 and 11 p.m. tonight if nothing happens so pretty much the limiting factor is um, the blower tractor the 6430 and right now we're at one of our furthest fields away from the farm right now not terribly far but far enough that it takes a few minutes of road running so yeah. Neighbor's got his first cut down over there too. Anyhow. I did bring the drone with today, but um hopefully yeah you can hear. I'm planning to edit a video maybe in the downtime I got. We'll see if I can actually get around to it or not. If I can't, that's fine. If I do, it's really good because I think I got two videos in between this or one. I can't even remember now. I've been so busy, but yeah. Getting after it. Topping at around five miles per hour. We could go a little faster on the headland, but not really too much point when we're going to be beating the wagon sewing up anyway so yeah all right so it's just about three o'clock now we're on our fifth load of the day another full wagon so yeah getting after it there's a bigger gap in the middle here now than there was the last time which is good um yeah i got the headlands off there's only one short row, all the rest are long rows, so short row meaning there'll be just like a short strip at the end that I couldn't fit on a wagon. On the last load I cleaned up all of those but one. So, yeah, you can see it's not perfect. I got that mirror set there, so if I just look at the mirror, I can watch the, um, the hay feeding into the header that way you can look where I'm going near the end and move rows and all that without always having to look back and forth so, anyhow got a wagon to unhook now would be really nice actually to get um, some quick hitches for these things like I mean it it works fine to just always get out, but if we had, yeah, I'm gonna pull forward a little more. If we had quick hits, wagons here just save a little bit of time. Unhooking and hooking when we're, when dad and I are both here, because this wagon, I can't actually hook up on my own because the tongue, well the tongue's on a spring. I could lower the spring but then it's 
more work for him because tongue's on a spring it's perfectly level with this could hit that which isn't good races that crop carrier wagon we got the tongue's on the ground so if i back up far enough i can hook myself up but yeah this stuff's pretty dry but there we have it and monday's job or monday night's job tuesday morning's job it's gonna be to wash this tractor up because this tractor's going to our local john deere dealer crossroads for an injection pump on tuesday they're doing the job on wednesday but um on two-handed job but on Tuesday, it's our high school senior skip day. I know I've mentioned this before. All the high schoolers skip a day of school. So instead of going to the beach that day, I'm going to wash this tractor up and I'm going to bring it to Crossroads. Got stuff to get done, so we're going to skip the skip day and work it. And then we can get caught up. So we got quite a bit of stuff we got to get fixed too. So we got a gator transmission line snapped on that. So we got to fix that. And then what else do I got to fix? Um, so one of the wagons has a hole in the bottom of the tongue. Got to cut that out, put a new piece in. 2350 needs new batteries. I gotta order those, put those in. 2750 needs a radiator rebuilt. So either our farm mechanic's gonna pull it out and send it away, or I'm gonna pull it out and send it away. We'll see. This harvester has one burnt out tail light we'll have to get looked after. Um, I know for sure there's more stuff, but. Our 6430 is going to get sent away next week or the week after as well to go to our mechanic's house to get our mechanic's farm shop to get the transmission taken out of it to get rebuilt. So everything's getting fixed next week. Well, in the next few weeks after first cut. That way we can roll into second cut hopefully break down free oh i know what the other thing i had to do is i gotta change out the knives on the disc binder flip them around i really need to make a list so i just finished chopping load number six and always when i'm chopping i'm always thinking so i got a story for you guys this was a story my grandfather always used to tell pretty much what it is is apparently I've never seen photos of it so as far as I know it's true to the best of my ability Hawker used to say there was a road running through this field just an old dirt road nothing fancy it was an old horse trail he called it so now it's a little harder to describe up there where that truck's gonna turn there's a road. So that, oh, yeah, I can't see. Where that truck just turned, it's actually really good timing. In that car, there was a road. And then there was another road that connected from there, apparently. Went through, there's a bunch of gaps at the end of the field. Either that gap there, it's one of them gaps there. He always used to point to. Go through that gap there, and then, it's gone now. Maybe if I'm at that end of the field, I could show you what's left. There's an old base of a barn there. And once again, apparently, well, I know this is true. There used to be a house there. It's an old farm. Now it's just cash cropped. So the road used to run in front of that house through that farm, apparently. And then, it would connect up with another road called Hunter Road. So I'll pull up that, I'll pull up a Google Maps photo of it, and then I'll, you can see the blue dots where we are, and then I'll draw a line through 
from Ainsley Road over there to I think it's called Hunter Road over there and then you can see um yeah it's an old story park always used to tell me my grandfather but beats me if it's true he said it was true he said him and um Elgin Smith a neighbor of ours, well, an old neighbor of ours. He died a few years before my grandfather died. He lived in the farm past them trees, past the next tree line. Apparently they ripped out what was left of the dirt road and the trees along it. So, but yeah, that's a story. Dad's yeah, coming now. Can't see him. Dad's coming now with an empty wagon. Chopper spouts blocking the view, but yeah. So, I'll put up them photos in the next slide with the line drawn through, and then you can observe for yourself. So, hopefully, you enjoyed that story. That was one of the many stories she told me. Um, but yeah. I got a lot more stories that he's told me and things that have happened, but not gonna share them all in one video, so we'll, we'll share them over time. As I think of them, there's a bunch I got in my head right now, but anyhow. Yeah, we're on load number seven right now. All right, so it's 4.15 now. Just did another count of what we all had left. Well, this was has of 4.15. It's now 4.20, but we haven't chopped any more loads. So, um, pretty much, here, just give me a little bit. There we go, into our first row. We have 32 rows remaining. We're putting three rows on a load. Three and a quarter. Well, a little less than three and a quarter. Three and an eighth or something. Very, very tiny amount of another row to fill a wagon. So, there's a few short rows that I didn't count. Like, there's a short row there and a short row there. I didn't put in the count. So pretty much that's why we rounded to three and that's why we rounded our rows to 32. So that means we have 10.6 loads to go, so 11 loads to go. So at the current rate that we're going, we're gonna be done at 10.50 p.m. So, yeah, I just told dad that and um, <laughs> well, we've this will be the ninth load back here that's getting chopped. Hopefully you guys can see because I'm not looking at the camera right now. But, uh, yeah, we've chopped nine and we have 11 to go, so we're not even halfway. But, we'll get after it, we'll get it done. If it looks, if the piece of equipment looks opposite, that's just because the camera inverts it. The camera essentially flips around the way everything looks it, from the selfie camera point of view. So, anyhow, we're getting after it. Not sure if you can read that. There. Engine hot. Check coolant level and coolant system. Any leaks? Crap. So, never seen that message before on this tractor. We're gonna, well it's cooling down now, but set the video off. I'm gonna go out. We're gonna take a look. See how it looks. I'm gonna set you guys here while I open the hood. Oh, ha! Yikes. Yeah, it's hot, but this is 
lions. I clean these out at the start of the day even. pretty bad too, but I'm going to need two hands to get it out. That's a good idea to sweep it out so close to the engine because now the other screen's already got a bunch on it, but I didn't think about that till now. Just them screens got plugged up. You can see the fan belt and everything is fine. So it was just them screens. Hood lights in the mess. But the hood's pretty heavy and hard to open, so I'm gonna finish chopping this load and then I'll then I'll deal with the hood lights. It's not like we're going down the road or anything. You can see how quick it already cooled back down. Only took like four minutes and it's already back to where it should be. Alright, we got a little bit of a short row I'm going to put on this wagon, and yeah, then we'll see what else we have. This is load number 10, so went 10 loads without having to stop for any kind of hiccup on either side, so I guess can't complain about a 5 minute delay. You can see up the road there white car will come over the hill in just a minute that's my Oma I think she was just driving by just for to see someone today but anyhow um, she spotted dad and I going and there she is well that's embarrassing I was waving to her so much I completely missed the row <laughs> all about honesty here guys <laughs> could happen to anyone <laughs> yeah, she stopped, slowly watched, and then I waved, she waved back, and I looked, and I passed the rail. Man, 
it's okay. We'll grab it on the way back. We're down to the last little bit on this side of the field and then there's only that. We're filling wagon number 12 right now. You can see my chicken scraps handwriting there. It's there. So all this will fit onto this last wagon and then we can stick to that upper half of the field up there. So getting after it. Tractor's been performing well after it had that issue with the rad. I got the hood shut properly. On the last load, the hood just opened up. And then for whatever reason, it would actually suck properly. So that's all sorted out. We just finished load number 15. So, forget how many rows I counted that were left there. I think around 15 rows were left. So, we're almost done. The end is in sight. Let's see. 15. Pretty good. Pretty happy. on the final loads right now we got three loads left um, things have been going pretty good other than this wagon behind me here it's been running really loud all day so um, the dad just showed me dad found it dad's been pulling wagons all day there's a piece of metal underneath I'll show you after it's rotting out, the wagon, rusting out, so I mean, yeah, it is what it is, we're gonna have to, I'm not sure what we're gonna do, if we're gonna hire someone to get in here, cut it out, put a new one in, or if we're gonna attempt to do something like that, or wherever we'd have to bring a wagon to get that done to it, I don't know. But, that's what's happening to this wagon. So, I'll show you that after. But, yeah, we're going to have chopped 20 loads today. We've been chopping for six and a half hours. The time on the clock's not accurate, but the hour meter is. When we started chopping, we had 5,900, no, 5,099 point nine hours and now we're at 5106.4 so we've been chopping for six and a half hours like I said so it's kind of moving along but yeah the inoculant tank on the back of the harvester is almost empty which is good because then it'll be perfectly timed but yeah, sun's going down. I think it's just after 8 o'clock. Yep, 8.15. So we'll be done chopping a little sooner than we thought. If we got three more loads left, we'll be done chopping at 9.15. So that's a whole lot better than the initial time that we thought of 10.50. And then at one point we thought... 9.50 but as long as nothing breaks we're still on a good roll to get things done all right so as promised I'll show you the rest in the broken section this you can see maybe you can't now you can that's all rotting out, that's all rotting out. There's a board here. Oh, that's a good hole in the board. This is rotting out too. See? You can 
Yeah, everything's kind of just... It's been going for a while, but... We're gonna have to get all that done. The other thing on the job list is... You might not be able to get a good viewpoint, but you can see there's a hole there. Well, there's a hole there. You're gonna have to cut out the rot and weld a new hunk in the tongue of both wagons. They both have that problem. So, there's gonna be a lot of... Ah, that's sitting low. There's gonna be a lot of fabrication and fixing that's gonna be required on these wagons. So, to get this one running, we had to rob parts from the other wagon, which had, it wasn't this chain, but it was one of the chains in the front that broke. So we've just been stealing and swapping parts recently to fix everything to make do. But load number 18 is done. All right, I'm just driving around the field now, picking up the little bits that I've missed. But that's the 20th wagon full back there. We chopped 20 wagons worth in seven and a half hours. 20 wagons in seven and a half hours. So that's pretty good for what we're able to do. A little bit of mist right there. So, yeah, I'm currently trying to multitask. But, yeah, this field we cannot complain whatsoever how it yielded. So, we took off all the headlands last night and then we split the field down the middle. I got like a dirt mustache going on. So, yeah, like I was saying, we split the field down the middle last night. So I think mom chopped two loads, and I chopped the one before milking, so that was three. And then after milking, I think we spent, well, what time did we get in the house last night? 10.30, I think after milking, we might have even chopped five or six loads. So... I think we got 29 of them loads. The rear window's really dirty. Off 20 acres. So just over, we'll call it, just over 25 loads off 20 acres. Now our wagons are small, but we really can't complain. That's over a load an acre. Like when we were doing headlands, we couldn't even make it one lap around the field without a wagon being full. Which, I guess with that logic means we did seven loads, although when I was chopping later, I was able to make ground, so kind of finicky, but over 25 loads on 20 acres. Well, call it that, we'll leave it there. So, it's home time, but this video is going to be extremely long already. I can already tell you that without having to look at all the clips. I'm gonna thank you guys for watching and I'm gonna let you go. So, uh, yeah, the next few videos are just gonna be washing that thing, fixing everything, that thing going, getting fixed, all that kind of fun stuff. So, anyhow, God bless.